And joining us now, Father Roger Landry in Watertown, Massachusetts. Father Landry studied for the priesthood in Rome. Uh, Father, good to have you with us. Thank you. What, did you meet the Pope when you were there? What was your experience? I had the privilege to meet him about 10 times and have some very nice conversations with him where he showed himself not just to be the leader of the Church Universal, but also very much a father. I remember once when I introduced my parents to him on their 30th anniversary, and I asked him to give my parents a special blessing, saying that they had always very much benefited from his writings on the family. And he said, volunteer in Italian with great joy. And then at the end, with a twinkle in his eye, he turned to me and he said in Italian, and now I'll give a blessing for the other father of the family, as he put his uh -huh. hands on my head and, and, and blessed me as well. Well, that's very nice. What about you? I mean, you met with him 10 times and had conversations. What surprised you? Because I'm sure you went in with lots of expectations. What surprised you about the things he talked about or the ideas he shared with you? What surprised me very much was just his always being present to you, as if he was not in a rush to get to the next person. I, I would never have more than a couple minutes with him, but he always listened to me intently. One of the first times I met him, I was with my identical twin brother and asked him to pray for a specific intention, and he paused right there and said, let's pray for it right now paused. We prayed for about 10 seconds together, but I'll never forget the fact that he didn't let that pass through the other ear. Somebody, one of his spiritual sons, had asked him for a favor, and immediately he reacted upon that favor, which I think showed his character for every member that Christ had entrusted to his care. Yeah. Now, you are a, a, a priest here in the United States, and we all know that the uh, membership in the Catholic Church in the U.S. has been dwindling, and there was a lot of pressure to make some changes as far as uh, beliefs in birth control and, and women in the priesthood and that sort of thing, which Pope John Paul II uh, resisted. Now, do you, how did you, how do you reconcile that since the people that you talk to on a, a daily or weekly basis are kind of coming from a different place than the Pope was? Well, one of the things that Pope John Paul II has tried to do is take the Church's um, inherited deposit of faith and put it in a new vocabulary. With direct reference to the teachings on sexuality, his own theology of the body has been detonating in the hearts of many young Catholics that once they have this very positive gospel on human love explained to them, they start to say the church's teachings in these areas is not bad news, but in fact great news, and they start to imbibe some of this incredible wisdom and their lives change. The greatest American preacher of all time, Catholic preacher, Archbishop Fulton J. Sheen, said there aren't ten people in the United States who reject the Catholic faith, but there are millions who reject what they mistakenly believe is the Catholic faith, and I think that's relevant with respect to the controversial issues you detailed. Uh, you use the term gospel on human love, which sounds like what you're saying is when you explain that to young people, uh, they understand more. What is that message? What, uh, the message is that human love is the great gift given by God, and when it's corresponded to with the same type of generosity by which God loves us, that is the way to true freedom. And so, with respect to a situation like birth control or abortion or gay marriage, what the Holy Father is saying are, are those are mendacious paths. Uh, to, to try to achieve that love for which every heart yearns, that the greatest way we're going to find the joy that God wants to give us through human love is by doing it according to the way God made us. When young couples, for example, whom I prepare for marriage, accept this and try to live it, I start to see the joy emanate from their faces in, in just very serene smiles.